Gone Girl isn't technically a true story, but a tragic true crime case and the subsequent media circus somewhat inspired the source novel. It's common for books and movies to pull inspiration from real-life events. It's actually pretty standard, as plenty of fictional horror villains are based on real serial killers. That seems to be the case with David Fincher's 2014 critically acclaimed film Gone Girl, as the parallels to a real-life murder investigation are absolutely shocking. Based on a novel by the same name, Gone Girl follows Nick Dunn and his gorgeous wife, Amy. The two share a seemingly blissful marriage, but when Mrs. Dunn goes missing on their anniversary, the curtain begins to open. Police suspicion and extreme media attention have all eyes on the happy couple. Their secrets and true identities come tumbling out. Judging by the fact that the film is a shocking psychological thriller and is clearly inspired by true crime, it's safe to specify that Nick and Amy's relationship is toxic, to say the least. Their marriage has a manipulative nature to it, as their obsession for each other peaks to an unhealthy level. Things especially fall apart after they lose their jobs in the recession and have to move from New York to Missouri to support Nick's dying mother. He begins an affair with a younger student, and Amy starts to feel irritated that she's lost all autonomy in life. Amy's feelings of neglect and failure didn't just start in her marriage, though. Her parents were famous for their children's book series Amazing Amy, hence why Amy's missing persons case blew up in the media, which could be interpreted as an idealized version of Amy that she failed to become growing up. Finally, gaining control of her life, Amy set up an elaborate scheme to frame Nick for her murder. When she falls in love with Nick for a second time, she kills a man after framing him for the kidnapping and rape. She managed to manipulate Nick by taking things one step further and inseminating herself with his sperm and guilt-tripping him into staying with her for the baby. At the heart of Gone Girl, a few key elements are working together. For starters, Ben Affleck's character Nick Dunn and his wife Amy are a very attractive, picturesque, and seemingly perfect couple. The marriage seems flawless, but there's a real struggle behind closed doors. Unfortunately, when the beautiful wife goes missing, all eyes are on her husband. The media circus, including photographed vigils, press conferences, and interviews, shows a seemingly grieving husband as he becomes increasingly suspicious. It's only when the strings begin to unravel that the truth behind Amy's disappearance reveals that the picture-perfect couple has a pretty dark reality. The original inspirations for Gone Girl were several books that impacted author Gillian Flynn's writing career. Ellen Raskin's The Weston Game was the biggest source of inspiration, as were novels Rosemary's Baby and Notes on a Scandal due to their uneasy endings. She also included several references to the play Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, many of which Flynn didn't believe people would catch on to. While Flynn intended to put a psychological thriller twist on marriage, she also admitted to being inspired by true crime. Not only was she inspired by killer couples, but Flynn also drew inspiration from the media's obsession with specific cases. As depicted in Gone Girl, when one part of a striking couple goes missing or turns up murdered, there's almost always a close media following that often includes pointing the blame at the spouse. All the couple's secrets get aired out on live television. Sadly, this is not just a fictional story, as a similar series of events unfolded in 2002 with Scott and Lissy Peterson. On Christmas Eve, 2022, 27-year-old Lacey Peterson went missing from her home. While she was missing, her husband, Scott Peterson, was subject to loads of interviews and tabloid coverage as he publicly longed for the return of his wife and unborn son, Connor. Of course, he was immediately a suspect in the eyes of the public, and his behavior while Lacey was missing certainly didn't help the matter. That is due to not only Scott's occasional signs of aggression when asked about his innocence, but the fact that the couple's marital problems had been made public. Gone Girl isn't based on a true story or one particular crime, 
But the story does take inspiration from one tragic case and the media's fascination with the couple behind it. Despite some very different endings and conflicting details, it's hard to ignore the parallels between the Dunns and the real-life Petersons. One can only hope that the horrors within both stories remain in the past.